Jesus Christ, I think I owe Halloween Kills an apology. I had no idea it could get this bad. Christ, so yeah, I saw Halloween Ends, and I'm gonna start this off with no spoilers and then go into spoilers, but honestly, I don't even think you should care. Don't go see this. This is garbage. This is dog shit. This is... This is the worst of all the Michael Myers movies, and I... I mean that 100%. This is worse than... I would much rather watch Halloween Resurrection. This is amazing. I hated Halloween Kills. Anyone who saw my video discussing that knows how I feel about that. And in fact, I just shot a review for that movie, which hopefully will be up by the end of the month. But, Christ, I'm not kidding. This movie makes Halloween Kills look fantastic. So, yeah, look, if you loved Halloween Kills, which, you know, that's not my opinion, but I get why people could like it. I, I still think you're going to hate this film. You are going to hate this movie if you watch this movie. I I don't see how anyone can enjoy this. This is so bad. This is so, 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 so bad. I couldn't believe it. I legit couldn't believe how terrible it was. It's like Halloween Kills was the epitome of stupid in a horror movie. And this movie... Well, in a Michael Myers movie, I guess. Um, but this movie is the epitome of just horrible in a Michael Myers movie. Everything is wrong with it. It's amazing because this is intended to be the final Michael Myers movie for the goddamn sixth time. They've There have been so many final Michael Myers movies. And I'm sure they'll just reboot it again in ten years. But the fact that the people associated with this movie intended for this to be the last one, I cannot begin to understand what was going on in their heads. Michael Myers, so this is supposed to be conclude his story, right? So you would think, all right, so we're really going to delve into Michael Myers. We're really going to delve into like, what drives him, and we're going to conclude his tale, like, in a satisfying way. Guys, he's in... This movie is a little under two hours long, and I'm not... I'm not fucking with you. I think Michael was in the movie for ten minutes. If that. It's amazing. I couldn't believe... I... Like, how can anyone be this dumb? And when he is in the movie, he is pathetic. He is pathetic. He's a little bitch getting knocked around by everybody. It's amazing how horribly this was done. In Halloween Kills, even though I didn't like the movie, I still enjoyed Michael Myers in the movie. I thought, well, okay, you at least got him right. He's a total badass, destroying everyone and everything, and, you know, cutting his way through an entire mob, no problem. In this movie, like, everyone he encounters beats the crap out of him. It's He's it's awful. It's he's like a frail old man in this. He he's just been in I'm not giving anything away. This is in the trailers. He's just been absent for 4 years like and like why? Like why has he just been doing nothing for 4 years? That's never explained. And yeah, he's he's absolutely pathetic. He seems like a frail old man. And some people are defending this by saying, oh, well, in Halloween Kills, they hinted that he gets stronger every time he kills someone. So since he hasn't killed anyone in four years, now he's weak. That is bullshit. He was in a mental hospital for 40 years not killing anyone, and yet he was still able to easily overpower everyone after the second he got out of there. This is not... And some people are like, oh, well, he's old now. He was old before! What did these four years suddenly make a huge difference? It's... And he's Michael freaking Myers. I don't want to see pathetic, sad old man Michael Myers for only 10 minutes of what is supposed to be his final movie. Yeah, I'm sure they'll reboot it in 10 years, but this is intended to be the final movie. Oh my god, this is so bad. This is so bad. They spend most of the movie focusing on another character we don't care about. And you know what sucks is this character actually could have been very interesting in maybe his own movie, but we don't want him here. Get him out of here. This isn't what we came to the movie for. We came here for Michael Myers, you goddamn morons. This is unbelievable. 
Oh, jeez. There was no plan. There was no, there is no way these three movies were planned. I will bet all the money I have that they did not plan this story out in advance because it, it this does not work as a follow-up to the previous film. It does not work as a conclusion of the trilogy. This, this is like another Last Jedi Rise of Skywalker situation, but worse. Like, I, like, I think Rise of Skywalker like even though it sucks is still a more satisfying conclusion of that trilogy than this is this movie just leaves you like not knowing what to think like what the fuck did i just watch <laughs> it's it's unbelievable it's unbelievable how horrendously done this was and like nobody makes any sense for every single character in all of haddonfield is now just a complete asshole Everyone in town is a complete asshole. Like, in, in the last movie, everyone was stupid. Now everyone is stupid and a dick. Like, they made it even worse than the last film. They went from everyone being stupid to everyone being stupid and horrible. That's what they did. Everyone is, like, even the opening narration doesn't make any sense. Like... So in parts of the opening, like the narration is going over and being like, Haddonfield has been ruined by Michael Myers. The darkness that has been cast over the town has caused problems. And it, it shows like this couple that's been murdered, like in, like they've been murdered by a gun. So they know it wasn't Michael Myers. But then the people are still like, ah, oh, this was caused by Michael Myers. How? How did Michael Myers cause that murder? And then later they find someone who's offed themselves, like, with a rope. And the narration still goes, Ah, oh, this, this was caused by Michael Myers. How? And there's, like, literally, like, a character who accidentally kills another character. And the narration still goes, Ah, oh, this, this was caused by my... How? How? It was an accident! Like, what does... Michael Myers has nothing to do with it! It's so stupid. It's like you're trying so hard to take yourself seriously and say something, but you're not saying anything. You're just being dumb. And yeah, all these horror... There's like four different bully characters. No, sorry. There's a bully gang and like three other bully characters in this this movie. There's so much bullying that happens in this movie. I feel like I'm watching a terrible Stephen King film and like... You know, it's like, oh, you know, we gotta set up all these characters so, so, you know, you don't like them when they die later. It's like, wouldn't it mean more if I did like the characters who were dying? There's only one character whose death I felt bad about in this film. But I felt bad for like five seconds and then I literally said out loud in the theater, well, there went the only guy I cared about. And I'll talk about that in spoilers, but Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Also, everyone in the town is now blaming Laurie Strode for Michael Myers. That doesn't make any sense. Again, this would probably make sense if the original second film was still canon because that established that Laurie Strode was Michael's motivation for coming to the town. But if you recall in Halloween Kills, they said his whole motivation was to go home and stare out the window. So, like, what? why are they blaming Laurie for that? People are like, uh, you provoked him. You angered him. Oh, yeah, fuck you for defending yourself when a fucking violent serial killer tried to kill you. You should have just let him do it. Then surely he wouldn't have killed anyone else. What are you all talking about? There's literally a scene where fucking Allison tells Lord, because of you, all my friends are dead. What are you talking about? She saved your life, you dumb, entitled little brat. Allison is horrible in this film. She is an imbecile. Everything about Allison is so stupid. And, and it, like, this film doesn't know what it wants to be. It doesn't know if it wants to be a Michael Myers film or the tale of another killer or some fucking weird ass romantic twilight movie what the hell like seriously there's a love story in this movie that comes completely out of nowhere i swear to god two characters look at each other for the first time ever and are in love immediately to the point where they're willing to run away together within two days it's i can't believe how dumb this is this is so horrendously stupid. The disrespect for Michael Myers. This movie isn't even fun. This is so boring. This movie is boring, boring, boring. I can't count the number of times, like, I looked at my fucking watch, or, well, not my watch, my phone, but you get the idea. And, like, or the, the number of times, like, Wilda was like, how much time has passed? Are we still here? Is this still going? When are we gonna get to Michael Myers? I'll tell you when we're gonna get to Michael Myers in the literal last ten minutes of the movie! 
Oh, um, Michael Myers has psychic powers now. I don't even, I guess I'll have to talk about that in spoilers. I don't know what the hell they were trying to do with this movie, where they, it feels like they were intentionally committing Hollywood suicide. I don't, I don't get it. Everyone who was involved in the writing process of this movie is insane. Also, it doesn't even work as a slasher film. You don't get to see most of the kills. They cut away, or you just hear a scream, or it's, it's, they black Christmas most of the kills. In Halloween Kills, there were at least fun kills. and go Look at all the nice things I have to say about Halloween Kills now. Like, there were fun kills. There was gore. There was, like, Michael Myers on a rampage. This movie does not have that. Like you, so there you. They cut away from how many kills? There's like eh, da, 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 at least four kills. There's one scene where like a guy's being killed with a blowtorch, and you're like, oh, this is cool, but you can't see it. It's like it's like here, like like it's happening here. But I'm like, hey, can I at least? Oh, like I thought in the theater, I was like, oh, well, we'll see the aftermath of that. Like we'll see how he decorated. Nope, we don't see that either. It's so so horrendous. I can't believe it. Uh, how many times have I said I can't believe? Jeez, Louise. Oh man, it's amazing. It's truly amazing how awful this has gotten. And uh, like, there's one cool kill in this. You. All one interesting kills in this film. Like, literally one. One interesting kill. That's it. There's, like, one of the few times... And, and also, one of the few times you get to see Michael kill someone, it's just one stab and it's over. It's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What else can I mention without going into spoilers? Hello. I hate this movie. Don't watch it. I give this the lowest possible rating I can give a movie. It's not, it's not even, like, watch with friends fun. It's not even fun to watch bad. Like, it doesn't, like, the last Halloween, Halloween Kills left me, like, angry at how badly it ended. But this movie was just consistent trash all the way through. All the way through. The opening is like something out of the scary movie franchise. It's unbelievable how silly and stupid. Stupid and bad and boring and horribly written and disrespectful and disappointing this movie is. <sighs> I, I don't even know. It takes itself so seriously. It tries so hard to have a message. It's so dumb. There are characters with, like, there's literally a character who talks like this. And there's also a Jersey mom who talks like this. It's ridiculous. Like, stop trying to be funny. You're, you've been taking yourself seriously so hard. And then suddenly a comic relief will pop out of the fucking sky and, like, say and talk stupid shit and just be like, I know you're going to die later. I don't care about you. Oh. <sighs> Uh, nothing in the previous films mattered. This movie could have just been on its own. It doesn't feel like a conclusion to a trilogy. It doesn't even feel like a sequel. It honestly feels like if you replaced Michael Myers with, like, just, like, say there's some legendary killer in the town, like, it could have just been its own movie. Like, seriously, it's it's so horribly handled. All right, that's all I'm going to say without spoilers. Um, let's go into spoilers. Three, two, one, spoilers. Okay, uh, this movie, as I said before, is absolute dog shit. So in the opening, like, so our, our new killer, Corey, um, accidentally kills a kid because this kid is a fucking asshole. The kid literally in the opening at one point just for literally no reason says, hey, you're an ugly ass babysitter, you know that? Okay, dick. <laughs> like, and the babysitter just takes that. He's like, you know, you need to go to bed soon. And and then at one point, the kid to uh, fuck like like the knife disappears from the table, only to reappear on the stairs. I guess the kid put it there. What was the point of that? That doesn't go anywhere. Like, and so then the kid locks uh, the babysitter in like the attic, and the babysitter like just fucking flips the fuck out, screaming, I'm gonna kill you! Like, I, I, maybe I, maybe if they established he was claustrophobic or something, then I would get it. But he, he kind of just, like, goes a little over the top. And then he kicks the door off the hinges, and it blasts the kid over the stairway railing, and the kid falls to his death. So it's an accidental death. And oh, I'll be honest, at first when I saw that, I was like, oh, damn, well, that's tragic. I didn't see that coming. Uh, 
wow, damn, like, um, but then I thought about it, I thought about it, and I realized, wait a minute, typically when you kick a door off its hinges, it's just gonna, like, fall forward. It doesn't blast off the hinges at freaking Mach 5 speed and blast into a kid and send him flying over the railing. That's not how physics work. It's so stupid. And so, yeah, that's the, oh, oh my god, Michael Myers was the cause of this. What are you talking about? And, yeah, and so then, um, Corey for three years is, like, shunned, and he, like, he and Lori's granddaughter fall in love with each other because I have no goddamn idea, and... You know, everyone in the town treats him like shit, which I kind of get. It's like, oh, you killed a kid. Why doesn't he move? Like, you should really just get out of town. Your life in this town is over. Go somewhere else where they don't know about it and start over. Like, I, I know moving isn't easy, but I think it's easier than being hated by your entire community. I don't know. And the only character in this movie I kind of liked was his dad. He seemed like a good dad, but then he dies. And I was like, oh, well, there went the only character I cared about. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, and, uh, you know what's weird? This character's mom is a piece of shit who smacks him around for no reason, but then she also, like, loves him at the same time. I don't get it. Like, she literally... His mom literally says to Laurie Strode, it's your fault the town hates my son. If it weren't for your affiliation with Michael Myers, then the town would have been fine with my son killing a kid. They would have helped him. They would have helped him heal. But because... Michael Myers disappeared. They needed a new boogeyman to replace. What are you talking about? Yeah, of course, if Michael Myers had never been a legend in the town, the parents would have seen their dead child on the floor and been like, oh, are you all right? That's not how... It's horrible writing. Horrible writing. And then this kid just finds Michael Myers in the sewer because Michael's just been in the sewer, I guess, just doing nothing. And then Michael Myers grabs him by the throat and I swear to God, reads his goddamn mind. I guess Michael can do that now. And then Michael just lets him go. He's like, oh, you have... I don't know, you've suffered enough or something? Or maybe he turned him evil. Because right after that, Corey becomes a bloodthirsty murderer. Like... And I can't tell if they're trying to say the town made him like that or Michael made him like that. It's, I, I can't tell what they're trying to do. But yeah, he starts just bringing people to Michael Myers and he brings this fucking cop guy to Michael Myers and the guy, the cop guy beats down Michael Myers and fucking Corey has to hold the cop down so Michael Myers can kill him. And then later, Corey decides he wants to be the new Michael Myers. So this 21-year-old scrawny asshole goes in the sewers and he beats the shit out of Michael Myers and steals his mask and runs off. What? <laughs> and so then, yeah, he puts on the mask and starts killing people and, like... Yeah, it's like, we don't get to see most of the kills. We only get to see one kill of, like, a radio host, and that was a good kill. It was well done. But one, it's it's not Michael Myers doing it, so I care a lot less. And two, that's it. We don't get to see his secretary die. We don't get to see uh, the doctor die. We don't get to see when he's killing the bullies who went after them. We don't, two of their deaths we don't get to see. And the third one, like I said, is over here, and you can barely see it. And... <clears throat> Like, so then, of course, and yeah, all through all of this, like, his fucking Allison-ass girlfriend who can't see who's the most moronic moron who ever moroned, like, is in love with him, and he literally, at one point, he just straight up says to her, hey, by the way, I killed someone, and she's like, all right, like, doesn't, nothing, it doesn't go anywhere, she doesn't ask anything, he doesn't, he's just like, I killed someone, oh, yeah, well, anyway, moving on to the next subject, Wh what, hello, <laughs> and she's, it's just so fucking dumb, and Lori is the one who fixes them up together, and then literally, like, less than two days later, she's telling him, you know what, I need you to stay away from my daughter, my daughter should not be in a relationship with you, I want to help you, but stay the fuck away from my daughter, I don't understand Lori in this film, at all and yeah then we so the majority of the kills go to this fucking idiot Corey, and like then he tries to kill laurie strode but laurie strode beats him and she for some reason just empties her gun into the wall like a goddamn moron and then Corey's like oh i know how i will resolve this and he just stabs himself in the neck right before allison enters and laurie's an idiot she pulls the knife out of the neck like oh wait no now that i'm holding it like it looks like i killed him and allison 
looks down at her dead boyfriend who's dressed up like Michael Myers and there's blood in different parts of the house the mask is right there just look at it and she doesn't take any of that into account she's just like, oh, you murdered my boyfriend you stupid fucking idiot do you not like have eyes you're not gonna ask why there's a Michael Myers mask on the floor and, and then she runs out, and then suddenly Michael Myers finally fucking shows up and fights with Lori. And there's about 50 different times where he could easily kill her, but instead he throws her. And, or parts where he's holding her, and she just, like, overpowers him. The grandma overpowers Michael Myers, even though Michael Myers overpowered everyone in every movie leading up to this. It's like, I guess he's old and weak now. And it's it's terrible. And apparently the way to kill Michael Myers is to slit his wrists. That's it. Like, don't, it's not to chop off his head or anything like that. It's, you slit his wrists and he's done. Because he doesn't get up after that. And they go and they put him in a meat grinder, which, yeah, sure, that makes sense. You know, like, completely eliminate the body. But you know what I thought would have been cool? I thought it would have been cool if he, like, got back up, like, while strapped to the car and started to fight back. And then they reveal they've driven to the meat grinder and they push him in or something. It's like, like, not this time, Michael. And, you know, but even if that happened, this would still be an absolute dog shit movie. I cannot believe how bad this freaking movie was. Once again, I'm saying cannot believe. But it's just because it's so true. I was in sheer disbelief. I, like, Wilda kept looking at me during the film and laughing I imagine I must have had some expression during certain parts of the film maybe my jaw was open I don't know but I hated it and the ending drags on and on and Wilda said multiple times during the ending are we still going <laughs> like stop I don't care about any of these characters anymore <sighs> so yeah it's terrible don't watch it I guess that's my whole Video on the topic. Uh, look forward to my Halloween Kills review, I guess. I don't know if I'll ever review this film because, to quote something Wilda told me directly, why should I put effort into a video on a movie that had no effort put into it? Like, making reviews are a lot of work, and I don't feel like giving this movie the, the time. It's terrible. Terrible. I think that's all I have to say about that. Um... Yeah, Halloween ends as dog shit. Um, waiting for the next uh, remake in 10 years. But what did you think of the film? Um, if you didn't watch it, don't. It's a complete waste of your time. That's all I have to say. I don't know how to end videos.